former Fed Chair Janet Yellen with John Hilsenrath on Wall Street Journal at large. Yellen says the U.S. economy isn't going into a recession, and she added this about a, a closely watched bond market indicator that's flashing red. So historically, it's been a pretty um, good signal of recession, and I think that's why markets pay attention to it. But I would really urge that um, on this occasion, it may be a less good signal. Um, and the reason for that is that there are a number of factors other than market expectations about the future path of interest rates that are pushing down long-term yields. Rebecca Walser, Walser Wealth Management CEO, and Craig Dismuke, Vining Sparks Chief Economist, join us now. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, Craig, you just, you just heard what Yellen had to say. Why is this time different when we're looking at the inverted yield cur curve that preceded the last five recessions? Why is it now different? Well, I think there's a perception that because there's so much global liquidity, because central banks have pushed rates around so much, uh, that markets are distorted and that and trading values aren't reflective of the real risk uh, reward expectations from investors. I would I would say there was a very similar mentality back in 2006 that perhaps the uh, market dynamics had changed uh, and the an inverted curve in, in late 2005 yeah. and into 2006 wasn't preceding a recession. So I'd warn about thinking that this time is different. Okay. Yeah, I also want to talk about, Rebecca, the 30-year yield because for the first time it went below 2%, 1.96%. I compared that to 30-year bonds in Japan, yielding 0.15%, and in Germany, negative 0.2%. So, Rebecca, my question to you is, you know, will the U.S. go to negative yields? An analyst at J.P. Morgan uh, Chase says it's possible, and it's possible in the year 2021, and the catalyst would be the trade war with China. Yeah, that is really, uh, really awfully scary. I, it's not even, you know, normal financial concepts to have negative yields to pay the government to, to yeah. keep your money. It does not, it does not make sense. But obviously, Germany and Japan have had negative yields for quite some time. And I guess, technically speaking, the economics could be there that it could be possible, although much harder in the world reserve currency, the U.S. dollar. So um, it's, it's a stretch, I think. But yes, I, and I also think that we are going to get resolution with China before 2021, whether it's no resolution and, and so okay. multinationals adjust accordingly or whether it's an actual deal. Okay. And, and, and you know, as, as we deal with, with this China trade war slowing global growth situation, uh, a lot of folks are saying, yeah, there will be a rate cut next month, Craig. Um, but if you look at the Fed's funds futures, just 20 percent are calling for that 50 basis point cut. Where do you stand on that? Uh, well, you know, look, I think it's important that they get out in front of this. They're in a really tough spot right now because the market's expecting at least 25 basis points of cuts uh, and then potentially 50 basis points of cuts. And what they really want to do is surprise the markets by being assertive, being aggressive. And to do that, it's going to require them cutting 50. It, you know, it's not going to change the cost of capital, but hopefully it can stabilize financial markets. Right. And I think they're, they're in a tough spot right now because it'll be hard to, to not disappoint expectations. Yeah, I was. I thought the number for the 50 basis point cut would be bigger, but Rebecca, uh, you know, it, it, as we've seen sell-offs, we've seen recessions in the past. How is this one any different? Is there panic out there when you look at you know the volatility trade, the VIX, the fear index? Is is there panic, or is this a little bit different? Yeah, I think it's a little bit different because we obviously have global trade and we definitely have, you know, global factors. Yesterday we found out that China's manufacturing was less than expected. We found out that Germany has contraction. So those two things really let us know that global slowdown is happening. And on top of a, fa of a trade war that is going on, this is the first time in really the United States since China's been our trade supplier um, that this has happened. So we, it is different, but the economic fundamentals are still there. So we have to remain calm, take a deep breath, understand that unemployment is low, yeah. inflation is great and and the US dollar is still the safest place to be and on that note of positivity we will end Rebecca Craig thank you for your perspective this morning and